Back in 2018, I made my first million dollars. And through that journey, I met one very special individual. His name is Alex Ramosi. You probably have seen him everywhere today in social media. But funny enough that back then when I met him and he became one of my clients, he actually didn't even believe on social and didn't actually want to post content out there. He just wanted to be the anonymous rich person. But despite that, he understood that Instagram and social media was a very powerful tool that you can use in order to make more sales for your business. So today I want to show you a presentation that I did for his private community, Gym Lords, where I broke down a strategy that you can use on Instagram today to grow your following and most importantly, generate more leads and sales for your business. And this applies whether you have a local business or an online business. So let's just jump into it right away. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below and that like button, because on this channel, we focus on making you more money with Instagram and social media, even if you don't have a business by simply leveraging an already existing business. So if you want to find out more about how you can make $100,000 over the next 12 months by becoming what's called a digital closer, click the very first link in the description. It's going to take you to another YouTube video that's completely free training. And without further ado, let's just jump into the video where we break down the entire presentation that we did an Alex Sermosi masterminds event with the highest clients and how I taught them how to use Instagram to grow and monetize their business. Welcome everyone. I'm super pumped to be here. I'm just honored as well. Uh, Alex, thank you so much for putting this awesome event together. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Instagram. We all know that the fitness industry is very visual and Instagram is an extremely visual platform. So I'm going to show you today how, now, how we've done it before for our local business and how you can also tap into both the offline and online space and mix it up together. So you can actually capitalize not only on paid traffic, but also organic traffic. So we're just gonna get started here real quick. Now, I'm gonna show you how Instagram as a business tool and, and a platform that is not only used for hot chicks, even though if you're a hot, you have a disproportionate advantage, okay? But you can actually use it to generate business for your local gym, right? And using my business as an example, I don't know if, that, if it's playing. There you go, it's playing. So that's just a little, uh, presentation like of several accounts that I've uh, used and uh, managed. I have about 4.5 million followers across multiple pages myself, not counting the clients that I've worked with. So, um, and that's been done all without bots, buying followers, like spamming strategies, paid advertisement, or buying vanity followers. What I'm gonna show you today is gonna help you capitalize with real followers, real people who are actually interested in your stuff and will actually buy from you, right? So, the big myth, you need a massive list to make money. Today, we're going to show you how you can, even with 1,000 to 3,000 followers, you can make a substantial amount of revenue. And I believe Alex was saying that you need about 100 leads per month. I'm going to show you how you can use that and get those four leads a day or 10 leads a day, whatever it is you need, organically just by using Instagram. And it's free. So it's pretty cool in my opinion. Now, this belief that you need a huge following is perpetuated by crappy marketers that you need bit less because they're not good at what they do. Anybody, even my grandmother, can make sales with a 50,000 person list, right? Now, an engaged truth. What is actually important is engagement. We, you know, you hear it talk about all over the place, um, but engagement is important. Why? Because that means you have their attention. In today's world, the most important asset we have is attention, because if we have attention, then we can sell. That's what really matters. So if we have attention, we can sell, we can serve the audience, and we can provide value and over deliver. So now, this is so powerful and so simple to follow. This is uh, one of testimony one of my students, Alex Wilkie. Started in August 1st, this uh, screenshot was taken about two weeks afterwards, and you can see, right, oh no, a couple months afterwards, and you can see right there, over 11 million impressions. Now, mind you, this is you know a beauty space uh, online. Uh, obviously, it's like gonna be a little bit tougher in the local market, but you can still have amazing results. So this is just to show you that this system is so effective and simple to follow. Even a guy with a beard owning a beauty page can do it, you can do it as well. All right, so the, who the heck am I? Um, you're probably wondering, well, my name is Josue Peña. Um, uh, I run online CEOs, a community that's growing over a thousand members per month right now. And I've been featured in, you know, podcasts, magazines, uh, Grant Cardone's TV show. Who knows Grant Cardone right here? Yeah, I've been to Grant Cardone's TV show twice. Uh, Econ Cron, several events, and so much more. But um, the reality is I'm nothing special. Uh, my backstory, I, ironically, I wasn't into the entrepreneurship game to become an entrepreneur. I was started the social media thing because I wanted to become a professional soccer player. And I come from a Dominican Republic, which is a Puerto Rican country. And my idea was I need to get followers in order to become a professional soccer player because nobody's going to find me there. So, and also, side note, as you know, English is not my first language. So I'm going to stumble across my words, go really fast. So I hope you're taking notes when we get started here in the Valley part. So I saw this 20-year-old 
uh, had 20,000 followers and was, you know, playing with professionals and got invited to teams. So my idea was like, man, if I can get 2,000 followers a month, that means 24,000 followers a year. That means in five years, I'm gonna have 120,000 followers. I'm gonna be freaking famous and I'm gonna be a professional. So that's what's like kind of my idea how I got started into this. But reality, like I said, I come from nothing. Uh, I grew up in the Potewa country. That's those two pictures were actually on the street where I lived for, lived on uh, in Dominican Republic. Uh, that's me right there on the left hand side picking dirt bags as my first internship job uh, coming out of high school. And that was the tr field I trained at. As you can see, it was like rocks and dirt. And it was like pretty, pretty bad. No, um, I had no money, was forced to go to college. I broke my foot, like broken, had a ton of injuries to be honest with you. Um, and it was just horrible. But no, like to just keep going. I graduated from electromechanical engineer, making 400 bucks a month. And um, I was miserable, we spent hours and hours trying to figure things out in the social media space because I knew, like I said, belief, belief. I knew, I believed that there was possible, there was another choice that I wasn't able to, you know, be in a third portable country stuck there. I knew there was another way um, and I just kept pursuing it. So, um, come on now, there you go. I knew I didn't want to work on 9 to 5, be tied to an office, especially in DR, that progression, like even if you work hard, you don't get anywhere. Like I've seen people working 20 years in the same job and they don't go anywhere just because there's very little progression in the country. But uh, four years, four or five years, complete failure, trying things for free. The freebie seeker, I two, decided to take a $2,000 loan, invested in a mentor and a coach, and it paid off. That's Russell Brunson, Gary V, uh, right there. Uh, but I'm gonna just keep going just because nobody cares about my story. You will care about the value I'm here to bring, right? So results from my accounts, there you see right there, uh, a couple of my accounts, Daily Artistic, Elation Fitness, that's actually a fitness account. It has over 200,000 followers right now. Explorer has over a million by now. Uh, World of Artists is the biggest one, and that one is actually by, followed by Ronda Rousey, Usher, and Kobe Bryant. So I can say they follow me and I don't follow them, which is pretty cool. All right, so, and more results from my accounts. Again, 55,000 likes, 2 point uh, something million views, and just over and over results. Again. Instagram is a really powerful tool. Um, and I want to show you this, not because like just income claims or whatever, but this picture right here is very special because a year ago, literally a year ago, I almost went out of business and Instagram saved my butt. I pushed traffic from Instagram to a managed chat bot. I made 11K in 24 hours and I almost went out of business. So Instagram is a really powerful tool that you can use to generate a lot of money. So uh, imagine what your life and business would look like if you have thousands of free new Instagram followers and leads every single day. Alex was talking, you need 100 leads a day or something like that, uh, an EFT and all these terms that I don't understand, but <laughs> uh, you need 100 leads a day. But imagine if you were able to get those 100 leads a day for free. That's freaking powerful, right? If you became a trusted influencer in your niche and people respected you and paid and looked up to you and you knew how to easily turn those followers into dollars and start monetizing your audience today right now. So this is what we're gonna cover today. Now. I promise to you by the end of this presentation is that I'm going to show you exactly how to use Instagram for your local market so you become the go-to gym, create massive brand awareness, not only locally, but nationally and maybe also internationally. And this is important, especially if you are in a tourist city, so like New York, Chicago, whatever, right? And how to leverage your personal trainers, local influencers, and even national or international influencers to become icons and attractive characters to draw people in to your gym and to your brand, right? Now, let me ask you something. If you are on a burger stand, or local business, what will be your biggest competitive advantage? Maybe you would say the best testing ingredients, AKA the best product in the marketplace. Maybe that's, you would say the biggest competitive advantage. Or maybe you say, I have this ability case, like being in the best town or the best street in town where everybody comes through. Or maybe you say, it is extremely low prices to so become the McDonald's that everybody goes to. I doubt that's the last one you would say, because like you might make little money. But um, I would say that none of those are the one. What you really need is a starving crowd. Why? Because people will not buy your burgers if they're not hungry in the first place. You can have high blood vacation, you can have the best product, and ingredients, and you can have very affordable prices, but if they're not hungry, they're not gonna buy. So I'm gonna tell you something why Instagram right now, everybody on Instagram is a starving. There's over 700 million starving Instagram, especially in the fitness niche which are the gym niche, which we're all in. Now, there's over 400 million people who access Instagram. They, 80% of them follow a business, which is really, really powerful because that means that everybody here has a business and they actually want to follow you. It's not like Facebook that you just want, like, want to engage with friends and family. On Instagram, they actually want to follow a business, right? So, Instagram is like 4.2 billion posts per day. Videos posted on Instagram get two times more likely the engagement than any other social media platform. And 75% of those Instagrammers take action on a call to action. That means when you tell them, hey, DM me weight loss to get your free ebook, or hey, DM me weight loss to come to you know, your gym or a six, free, a six week challenge, they will actually take you up on it, right? Now, um, 
let me like again some say instagram brands and generally regular engagement with four percent of the total followers networks like facebook or twitter it's less than 0.1 percent and again we said engagement means attention so if you have the attention you can sell to them so that's why it's really important now what drives this attention how do we serve this crowd content now we are like we said all in the fitness space uh, is extremely visual and our content needs to be sharp Creating blurry images, creating blurry videos is not going to cut it, right? Not in today's world. You don't need to have a fancy camera. Your iPhone is extremely good enough. As long as you have good lighting, good framing, it will cut it, right? Now, content marketing in the digital ways. Blogging. How many tried blogging here before? Very difficult, right? It's pretty freaking difficult. Emails. Same thing. Emails have become more more crowded. Your inbox, you probably get, I don't know, hit up by 100 people a day on emails, and you only check two. Facebook groups. You only are engaging Alex one, even though you're part of a thousand. Why? Because Alex is the most awesome group after mine. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's because it's more becoming more and more crowded. When attention consolidates, but as the platform matures, attention consolidates. And Instagram, the platform has not matured yet. So attention is not consolidated. So let's dive deep into how to build a highly engaged following because this is the first step in order to make sure we do things right on your Instagram account. This is probably the place, the, the time where you take out your notes and you start writing because I'm talking really fast and I only have like less than 15 minutes to cover everything. All right. Now let's dive into it. Low quality versus high quality. This right here, Biofit uh, RD, this was actually the gym I went to in DR when I was living over there. And Alpha Elite is actually a gym uh, owned by Christian Guzman in Houston. So you can actually see the differences between the two pictures, like the two feeds, right? Which do you think people actually want to go to? One that's like sell, sell, a little video, sell, 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 a little infographic, and then sell, and then yeah. You probably don't want to go here. but you probably want to go where like there's buff guys and like hot, hot chick and you know and they're like showing the results that they're actually getting in the gym. You probably want to follow this one and you probably want to go there as well because like man, if these people are getting like these results, I can only imagine if I go there too. Here is like only selling, right? Again, you want to make sure you lead with value and, and this space of value means the transformation and the journey that people are gonna get. The result they're gonna get by going into your gym and the transformation of their martial arts or whatever it is, right? So again, now the second thing is good caption versus bad caption. You can see right here, again, BioFit versus Alpha Lee. <laughs> Just the image itself like draws attention. You probably are watching Christian Guzman and Rob Lipset right now instead of this weird bowl with a huge outstanding logo in the middle, right? And again, the caption is extremely important because it will drive people's attention and will actually do what it says. If you say, hey, double tap and tag a friend who would see this, they will actually go about doing that. If you tell them, hey, call us and let's schedule a free strategy session, they will actually call you as well, right? Whatever you can put in the caption, make sure you have a clear call to action. I personally like to have questions or have choosing them choosing the, them between A or B. So you have a guy, you know, standing there with like cool abs and then you have another guy standing like this bigger with cool abs. You say, hey, which one do you choose? A or B? People start commenting all day long, A, B, A, B, A, B. And it will, again, drive up engagement. Now, good bio versus good bio. Bye bio versus good bio. Again, this is bio fit. The same gym. Um, I'm probably, hopefully they never see this presentation. But <laughs> um, anyway, so this again is extremely like this. No, nothing in here, right? It says like like in Spanish like train well, live better. Cell phone number and then the address. Okay, what do you want me to do there? All right, but this one like this is my account. Again, motivating with. Uh, visuals like three bullet points. I'm gonna dive here and actually break it down for you, but just show you an example. And then a click call to action. Click to get your free workout program right there. Boom. People start clicking them, clicking that all day long because I have a clear call to action in your body. They read that. That's the first place they think. They, they see when they go to your account. Now, hashtags. Hashtags are like keywords on Google, and you want to make sure you're using hashtags on every single post. You get up to 30 hashtags and you want to make sure you're using the ones that you can rank in. Don't start using hashtags that are like super big because you will never rank in them. The way you determine that is you take your Instagram account. How, okay, I should have started with this. How many of you have an Instagram account right now? Oh damn, that's cool. Good, good. How, okay, how many of you have a thousand followers on your Instagram account? Raise your hand. How many of you have 500? 100? Okay, it looks like there's more than a thousand followers. 2,000 followers. 3,000, 4,000, 5, man, okay, good, all right. 
So we, we can do this. No, like no matter if you have 100 followers or if you have 5,000 followers, no matter the spectrum there, you can do this as well. So again, hashtags, you wanna make sure you put them in the first comment, just because if you, this is the caption, right? Tag your friends who should see this, whatever. You cannot see the, the, the hashtags right there. And if they can see that, it becomes a little bit spammy. You can choose bet between the caption or the first comment. I personally like the first comment and it just hides the, hides the hashtag in there. So now I want to, you, how many times per day do you post on your Instagram accounts? Let's say one time a day, raise your hand. One time a week, raise your hand. Ooh. Two times a day, raise your hand. Three times a day, okay. Okay, so like three times a day, there's like five people in the audience right now, and most people are posting one time and one time a day. Now, yeah, <laughs> all right, no problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what to post and how to post and all that good stuff, okay? Posting consistently, posting more will drive your Instagram account tremendously. I'm gonna show you how it's simple math. I'm an engineer. This will five to 10 X your exposure, make people like and trust you more, and exponentially grow your following and brand awareness. Now, let's say you're posting one time a day, for the second numbers, let's just say you're getting 5,000 impressions, right? If you start posting four times a day, you're gonna get 20,000 impressions just by doing that. That means that in 30 days, that is 600,000 and potentially exponentially grows over a million impressions a month. And that is with free traffic, okay? You're not paying a single dime for that, right? So just posting more is gonna be, like help you be in front of your audience more and is gonna help you drive up engagement more, which means attention, right? Obviously we have local businesses, so what we wanna do, we wanna make sure we're looking at the best times to post. If you connect your Instagram account to your Facebook, it tells you actually what are the best times to post. So maybe for example, if you, this, in this case, it might be best to post between 6 a.m. and 3 p.m. Usually the way um, the Instagram platform works on your local market, I would say start posting in the morning Lunch, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and before going to bed. That's when usually people start looking at their phones. Why? Because what do you do when you wake up? You probably take out your phone and start scrolling. What do you do when you're at lunch? Like, or most people like when they're at work, they start their phone and start scrolling. At 3 p.m. as well, 6 p.m. after they get out of work, and before they go to bed, same thing. So you wanna make sure you're posting and getting content in front of their eyes at the times that they're actually on the platform, and posting more will actually help you with that. Because not everybody is on the Instagram platform all the time. Maybe Johnny goes on Instagram in the morning but doesn't go at night, but Lisa goes into Instagram at night and doesn't go in the morning, okay? So you posting more is gonna help you be in front of them more times, which means more attention for you and more engagement, cool. Now, networking. This is kinda like the gasoline on the fire um, and one of the most important things that you need to do. How it works and the reason behind the algorithm. Now, let me tell you something how the Instagram algorithm works. And it took me like four or five years to like, find this out. So the Instagram algorithm is all determined by engagement, like I said at the beginning. And this way you gamify this is by getting big pages to like and comment on your stuff. Why? There's two reasons why. First off, we want to get, let's say, a 100,000 follower page or 10,000 follower page in fitness to like and comment on your stuff. Why? Because it tells Instagram first that, that an account with high authority just liked and commented on your picture, which means they're like, okay, this content is great, so I'm gonna show it to more people. Why? Because the only way Instagram makes money is by people keep, keep, keeping people on the platform. And the way they keep people on the platform is with content that Instagram think is relevant to that audience. So what, the way you gamify this is by getting a big page to like and comment on your stuff because it tells Instagram, oh, a big page is like and comment on this. That means this is actually good, so I'm gonna show you to more people. That's the first ripple effect. The second one is that when that account likes and comment on your stuff, if they're in the same niche, ideally, we already know that that audience is interested in our stuff. So when they like and comment on that stuff, that audience is also gonna see it in the explore feed of their phones, and because they're in the same industry, same niche, they're gonna also like, comment, follow you. So that's kinda like the idea. Now. The way you do it in your local area is you get as many local influencers liking and commenting on your pictures to make sure you put them and like you rank in your local area. You're basically gonna outrank all your competitors by doing this thing alone. So what you wanna do is do your market research. How do you actually find the local influencers in your space? And this is kinda like, what took me four or five years to figure out. Um, I was, you know, no successful and then like two years ago, everything blew up and this is what, market research. Now doing this well, Double, triple your engagement literally overnight. Get your posts in areas it wouldn't normally be seen, creating major growth, and hack the Instagram algorithm and make it work for you rather than against you. Now, how do you actually find local influencers or all the gyms, right, necessarily in your, area. In, in your area? Instagram actually just has a search feature. You just go in there, type in your, let's say, area or your city. This was in Mexico, Tulum, Jungle Gym. You can actually see right there, a ton of Tulum Gym. 
right? To one gym, boom, right there. So you can actually see who is actually searching for gyms or a gym in your local area. And all you gotta do is go on into the Instagram, um, the Instagram uh, app that you're already using and just search in there, in your local. So you have four tabs at the top, just go on the last one and it says places right there. So how to find personal brands or theme pages engaged in, with fitness content. Again, you just type hashtag fitness or word fitness in the same thing and a bunch of different pages will show up. Why you wanna do this? Because it will also tell you what content is working. Remember, content is what drives everything. No matter what Ninja Tactics show you, if your content is not great, nothing will perform. So what you wanna do is look at the content. Man, I see, by the way, I see a lot of people who are jacked here, like you're really freaking strong. So you can probably like do everything here. So what do you do? If you, if you see Bradley Martin squatting 300 pounds on a Segway, what do you do? And you can, you can do that as well, obviously. What do you do? You squat 300 pounds on a Segway and you put it on a video. Why? Because that video went viral, Joe's video will go viral as well. So it's just modeling success. That's the key here. Now, um, evaluate the layout of your current gym to make aesthetically pleasing to the eyes with pictures and videos. So for example, look at right here. Let's say Planet Gym. We just search Planet Gym and you can see right here, right? Aesthetically pleasing, hardcore gym, same thing. To Lung Jungle Gym, same thing. It needs to be eye-catching, it needs to be engaging. The fitness industry is all about the visual. So you have to make sure you're getting your trainers or the best transformation pictures or your best clients in videos and pictures with good lighting, good frame, and all that good stuff because that was actually gonna drive people's attention. Instagram is an extremely visual platform, all right? Now, local influencer search. How you do this? Again, you go in, places at the top, you type in your location and the top nine posts will show up and you will see who is ranking there and those are your local influencers. Simple as that. Now, this influencer right here, Robin, she's actually in one Canada, US, uh, Canada and UK. Boom, this one right here, San Diego. And you, this one right here, San Diego as well. It's as simple as just researching who your local influencers in your areas are and that is it, All right? Now, how to hack your competitors and influencers with BBPs. BBPs are best performing posts, and this is what I just mentioned right now. Now, this is an example right here. This, was, this picture was posted by Simply Shredded, had over 18,000 likes, 107 comments, a ton of engagement, right? That, pic, that page has over 1.8 million followers. What did I do? I just, in my, you know, in that, in that time, 100,000 followers account, I did exactly the same thing. It got 14,000 likes and 113 comments. So I had almost similar results because I just modeled success. And again, that's called repurposing content. All you gotta do is take a screenshot, put us in your account and give credit to the original creator. Why that's powerful? Because it will create a sense of community on your page. It's not only about you anymore. Like Alex was saying, it's not about you, it's about the community. So if you're able to just repurpose content, give credit to the original creator, everybody loves free promotion. Everybody loves that. So you're giving credit to them, they're happy. You're giving, providing content to your audience, they're happy, and you're growing your page, so you're happy. It's a win-win-win for everybody. And it sells, saves time for you as well. So, how to become relevant um, in your place is with attention. Transformation pictures work extremely, extremely well. And this would, again, create a sense of community and more, bring more people in. If they will see that it's not about you anymore, it's not about the gym owner, it's not about all you guys that are freaking jacked, it's all about them, right? And what people see is that about them, they're gonna be like, man, if Lisa had this amazing transformation picture, I wanna also be part of it. If Johnny got freaking jacked and became Thor, like, I don't know, Thor somewhere there, um, they're, they're gonna do it as well. So, you don't have to create all the content yourself. This is one of the major things that I see a lot of people struggling with, is that, man, okay, I get it, I get it. you gotta create content, you gotta do all these things, but content takes time, right? Again, repurpose content, leverage other people's content, for your own good, everybody wins, and you can also start doing infographics. Infographics is an extremely, extremely great way to give a lot of value to your audience because it's visual. If you see, for example, that workout right there or whatever, right? You say, hey, lose weight, and like you just break it down on a simple infographic using Canva or whatever, it becomes super, super simple to do. You can even hire somebody at Fiverr for five bucks to do this for you, right? It's not hard, it just takes a little bit of creativity if you want to call it that. And again, it doesn't even take creativity to be honest with you, just model success. See what other infographics are going viral, repurpose them, or just create your own. So, um, if you want to keep it original, then model success, like I said, and the content others are producing, meaning other gyms and other Instagram influencers in the fitness space, right? So, it is as simple as, hey, this girl took a picture like this. If you're a girl, you can probably take a picture like this as well. If the, she took a picture like, oh, like that, she can do that as well, and again, uh, that's, I think it's Venice Beach Gold Gym. Same thing, right? So it's just all about modeling success. If, if you wanna create all original content, you can do this as well. Just see what they're doing, 
use that as an inspiration and just post it yourself. Now, hashtag and geolocations, again, is extremely important because you wanna be able to rank in your local market. And it's extremely, extremely easy, no matter if you have 100 followers or 5,000 followers, to do this, all right? Very few people are actually using geolocations to do this, and you can rank very, very easily. Now, you can replicate this success no matter the niche and no matter the language. Again, I come from the R, so Spanish is my first language, actually. So again, Elation Football, my, my soccer account, Pure Skin, a beauty account. Um, Sanders University, a local sandwich shop, I think it was in Arizona, and Caballero de la Mafia, which is an Hispanic account. This works, okay? I tested this process and it works in any niche I can think of. I'm gonna show you today how we did it for a local beauty shop in Canada uh, for Alex Klein, which is one of my students, and I'm gonna dissect the entire strategy that we did to generate about 700 leads in about 24 to 48 hours for free or about like 1K ad spend. And from there, about $80,000 in revenue were generated, right? So I'm gonna show you that right now. Um, and across almost any niche that you can think of. Again, this works no matter anything. This is, uh, I think Dave Marino, one of my students, and he says, my auto power plays before the course was about 150 followers. Now it's grew up 300 followers after a few days. And just like that, I started to sell some of our products with only 600 followers, right? And one of the products I sold was worth 900 bucks. And this was a local auto part shop. You can do this, and if you sell mini pigs, I doubt you're not in the mini pig world, but you can say like mini pigs as well through Instagram, which is pretty freaking weird to be honest with you. I don't know why anybody will buy pickly. I eat them, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just that's not the Dominican thing to say. Anyways, <laughs> uh, okay, help to get people coming into your gym for my gym. First off, you need to capitalize on the lowest hanging fruit right now. I always take the path of least resistance because that's, I, I like to have results very quickly. So just capitalize on the current traffic you're already bringing in. And how you do that? Create a challenge, a giveaway, give something away, t-shirt, digital product, nutrition ebook, whatever it is you can to make them follow you. And the way you do that is by telling, hey, we're doing a daily giveaway and we're doing, you know, we're giving away a t-shirt, we're doing a, a giveaway, a nutrition ebook, we're giving away, I don't know, a free workout program, whatever it is you can. And what you do is, hey, follow us and turn post notifications on. And the way you enter the giveaway is by commenting in the first 10 minutes. Again, engagement is gonna drive up like crazy. And because people are already, hey, I, if I come in in the first 10 minutes, I'm gonna probably win this. So you're doing a simple daily giveaway, something that costs you like a bug or whatever, if not, if for free obviously if you do a digital product, but it will drive up engagement and you start ranking in your geolocation, in your local area by just doing this, all right? Just capitalize on your local traffic. Hey, if somebody comes in, hey, are you following us on Instagram? No, oh, you should probably follow us, why? Well, we're giving away t-shirts and a free ebook and all the good stuff. You should probably follow us. And all you gotta do is comment in the first 10 minutes. Oh, cool, awesome. They follow you, they turn post notifications on, and every single time you post, you're there on their phones, all right? So, again, in order for people to comment, uh, to start and be part of the giveaway, they gotta turn post notifications on, and that's the main goal. You're gonna create a mini list on Instagram of people that you're reaching over and over again every single time you post. You're getting their attention, undivided. Now. Get people going on IG if they already have it and following you there. Most people that go to the gym, they, have you heard the saying that if you didn't lift, if they didn't go on the gram, right? Like, it, it, like it didn't go on the gram, it did not happen. So you will see people like probably on your gym like taking selfies and then leaving the gym. Why? Because they <laughs> actually just post that on Instagram, ironically. So people go on Instagram on, on, on to your gym, take pictures and then leave. I've seen that way too many times. But um, the point is that people are taking pictures and posting them on Instagram. So why not just encourage that behavior, all right? So tell your trainers and your employees to encourage people to take pictures and post them on Instagram and you will feature them, all right? So just tell them, hey, use hashtag whatever your gym is called and tag us and you will feature them there. People like, like recognition and like, you know, just tell them, hey, you did a great job. And you also, able to leverage other people's content for your own benefit. Now, create, like I said, create a unique hashtag for your gym. This creates branding and people will use it to get featured. Again, right there, rules to get featured, tag X, that's instead of X, just put your gym and use the hashtag uh, your gym name. And we will feature someone daily and give away something as well. So that's, again, encourage people's behavior. Now, this alleviates the pain for you to have and create content over and over again. Because again, it's a pain in the butt to do it. And also tell your trainers to do the same thing and this process both on their accounts as well. So you wanna create like this mini little army with your trainers to do this. And you want them to become active advocates of your gym and brand. If you're 
like if your trainers or your employees, whatever, that are training in a facility like your clients are not doing this, tell them, hey, you should probably post pictures on Instagram. Tell them, hey, you should come train with Johnny. That's super awesome. And that helped, you know, Lisa uh, lost, lose 100 pounds. So it will start driving more traffic because you're having this little mini army of people that are also promoting for you for free. All right. Now, Instagram is first a branding play and then selling. So this is one of the major things. Like I said, I showed you some examples with BioFit. Um, they were trying to sell way too hard, but the branding part was sucked. So do not try to sell right from the get. Create massive brand awareness and then sell. The sale will come naturally. Again, the fitness industry is probably one of the easiest ones to capitalize on in because the product or the result is extremely visual. So you don't even have to sell. You just have to post like a guy with a freaking abs and they're like, oh my God, I want that. Or like um, like girl like with a big booty or like a squat booty and like, oh my God, I want that. So like it's, you don't even have to sell them. It just sells itself. Cool. So again, now you know how to create awareness. How do you actually sell? And the bio is the easiest place to sell on, all right? And this is what I would recommend in your case, specifically for a local market. What we do and who we are, our mission. That's the first bullet point. The second one is what results we get for people. Third one, DM us X word to get X results and then a call to action, whatever it is. This is an example right here. So example, weight loss for women. We put in the bio. We help you lose weight so you can get the bikini uh, body all re around. We have, again, what we do, or a mission, whatever. How many results are social proof? Hundreds of lives changed and 10,000 pounds collectively lost. Results. DM us weight loss to get your free session and a free 10 step guide to having a bikini body all year round without starving yourself. Again, call to action, DM us. People will actually go to your page, see it, and they're like, oh my, okay. Uh, they're doing the weight loss. Uh, they have helped hundreds of people. Cool. And all I got to do is DM them. That's a free lead that's coming right from Instagram for free. You will be surprised that just you changing this, creating content and ranking in your local market, you're going to get leads from this for free. All right. So this is an example to modify the copy and emo use emojis. Make sure you use emojis on your bio and apply your own type to your own type of gym, whether it's martial arts or CrossFit or whatever it is you do. All right and use Instagram stories to sell and have people come in. Instagram stories is where the money is at. All right, I'm gonna show you how. Now, how to use Instagram stories effectively is by providing value. What to do versus not to do. Now, who many, how many people here use Instagram stories in their gyms? Okay, not many people. Everybody else who didn't uh, raise their hand, start using them like right now, almost. But um, how you actually use Instagram stories is not by just, hey, um, I'm here at uh, my gym and uh, today we're gonna work out. That's that's not how you do it, right? Nobody cares about your life. Nobody cares about your dog. Nobody cares about what you ate. They care about the value you're providing to them. So instead of just vlogging about your day, take an analytical approach and just like, a better approach. So do not show behind the scenes of what you do or what you ate for lunch. Nobody cares. Show tips and tricks of what results you can get for people. Have a clear call to action and write whatever you say via sound. Let's say, for example, you say, hey, three tips on how to lose weight. Write three tips how to lose weight. Why? Because people not always have their sound turned on on their phones and most of the time they're just reading and if they have a clear text and they're like oh three steps on how to lose weight then they're going to turn on the volume all right so and use hashtags and geolocations on your stories because that is extremely extremely simple to rank in if you use the hashtag hashtag fitness or just the geolocation of your current gym you're going to start ranking on instagram stories extremely extremely simple and if your story is compelling have a call to action gives value people are going to see that and they're going to be like Man, I should probably, I want, I want that bikini body for this summer. And I'm gonna go to that gym because, like, that, they put a cool study. They gave me tips, they gave me value. So they're gonna actually come to your gym. And again, that is free traffic that you capitalize on. And again, um, on Instagram stories, use more videos and less pictures. Pictures last like three seconds, videos last 15 seconds. You're able to get an undivided attention for 15 seconds at a time from them, right? So, um, again, this was a story that I did last week, actually. Um, Again, show your face behind the brand. If you're just putting pictures and you're just showing like, if I just go here and just like film you guys like this, but instead of me doing that, I should probably like film in like a selfie mode. That's a lot better. People connect with people. Like people, like if, if I show you a dumbbell, people are gonna be like, okay, like it's a cute dumbbell. But if you show like you using the dumbbell, 
it looks like, okay, the dumbbell is like getting all you guys like a huge bicep, right? It's a lot different. People connect with people. Show your face behind the brand. Try to stick with, uh, with just one person. I ideally suggest that. Let's say if you have a trainer doing this Instagram stories, just try to stick with that trainer because it will build an attractive character and relationship with the audience. If you can't, that's totally fine. If you're the owner, if you can do the Instagram stories and you're kind of good on camera, I would do it yourself. That way you have more control. Um, but these don't have to be all the time in the gym, right? If, again, we're in the fitness industry, so if you're talking about nutrition, groceries, etc., do it in the kitchen. The environment and the framing matters. So again, you're talking about nutrition, you can do it while you're grocery shopping or whatever, but all comes down to value and having a clear purpose. You will never, nobody here will spend dollars on Facebook ads and just put a random picture out there. You have a purpose behind the content of that Facebook ad. So why would you put it on Instagram without having a clear purpose? Just because it's free, doesn't mean you, don't, you shouldn't be purposely creating content for that specific platform. So this applies to Instagram Live as well. If you're doing Instagram Live, make sure you announce it on Instagram Stories and on your Instagram beforehand. That way people start jumping on board. And if you took my advice beforehand to turn those post notifications on, you're gonna get a lot more people coming into your Instagram Live from that. And make it a consistent show, ideally, all right? And tell people, hey, we're coming, um, tell people already who are coming in, uh, hey, we have a show on Instagram and you can win X if you show up to our Instagram Live, right? It can be as simple as that. Hey, and you can do it like the trainers can do it while they're training your clients. You can do it in the morning at 6 a.m. show or whatever it is. Whatever it is you want, just create a show. Instagram Live is extremely, extremely powerful. Now, exam, same example. Weight loss for women. Now, this is how I actually frame my stories. Um, and this same framing, um, I've seen it work extremely, extremely well. Some of my clients are making like six, figure, six figures a month from this framing right here, right? So this works extremely well. Now, start with the intro. What they will learn today and why they should care, right? Stick and why they should stick to the very last Instagram story. So for example, what's up girls, my name is Lisa and today I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Have you ever struggled with using a free bar and have no idea how to do, use that thing? Put a poll, a pre-frame, right? It can, again, you can use it in the market. Let's say you're in the, I don't know, the CrossFit space. Hey, what's up, my name is Josue, and today I'm gonna show you how you can use CrossFit to do 100 pull-ups in a minute, or whatever, right? Or whatever it is, doesn't matter. Use a pre-frame a pre and a poll, get people doing micro-commitments, right? Poll, yes or no, you don't care if they vote yes or no. More than likely, they already follow your face. 90, 80% of people will say yes, right? So, next, if you next, the next story, right? If you order yes, today we're gonna go over three simple tips that you can use effectively right now in order to, you know, use the free bar more effectively, all that good stuff, and get the bikini body that you want. As simple as that, all right? So the first one, first story, you pre-frame what the value of the rest of the stories, of the rest of the Instagram stories are gonna be. Then you say, hey, okay, we're gonna go three simple tips. They already know, okay, it's three simple tips. Uh, usually numbers and things like that work very, very well because already people know what to expect. And again, provide the value you promised and the thing you told them that we're gonna get. Tip number one, blah, 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 blah. tip number two, da, 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 da. tip number three, da, da, da. and those are different Instagram stories, all right? Now, now, next is make a pre-frame before you pitch and do the call to action. Now, an example. Now, after you show these three awesome tips, you would like to have access to a free guide, trainer session, challenge, etc., that will help you expedite your process for the bikini body. Ask the question. Again, I make a poll, yes or no. Hey, uh, would you like to find out, uh, also, apart from the, the, the 100 pull-ups in another minute, would you also like to find out how I can squat 500 pounds in, in I don't know, in a segue? Yes or no? People are gonna say yes because they already watched the entire story up until that point. They're committed. If they're interested in what you have to offer, they're gonna say yes as well. So, and then make the call to action. Hey, okay, awesome. Swipe up. If you have more than 10,000 followers, you can make them people swipe up. If you don't have more than 10,000 followers, just tell them, hey, uh, DM me the word weight loss and I will send you that over right away, right? Now, a lot of people will actually DM you the word weight loss, like for our example, and let's say few people DM you, that's totally fine. You can actually see the people who voted yes before and just follow up with them, right? Those are people who raise their hand, they're interested, hey, I'm interested in weight loss and having a bikini body. All you gotta do is, hey, uh, Lisa, I saw that you voted yes in our previous story, but you didn't uh, message us weight loss. Are you actually uh, you know, interested in our you know, six week challenge to get that bikini body you said you wanted? They're gonna be like, oh my, this gym just DM me uh, asking, they're personal, a lot more personal. They're gonna say yes. Like nobody, I can guarantee you, like very, very few people are actually doing this right now. Just following up with the people who voted yes on the polls. So you can actually do this and it's completely free, All right? Now, now let's say, let's talk about average stats in here. Now, you will have about five to 10% of total followers watching your stories and uh, if you did, what I said when it comes to optimizing the account. So let's say, for example, the person who had 5,000 followers, I think it was over here, or the people who had 100 followers, let's say 5,000, 
uh, for six numbers. 5,000 people, 5,000 followers, you will get about 250 to 500 people watching your stories. Is that correct? The people who have 500, 5,000 followers, where is it? 5,000 followers? Yeah, okay, over there. So you get, you get between 250 to 500 people watching your stories, right? Yeah, and then from that 200 to 250 to 500, you will get about five to 10% doing any call to action you tell them. Making a poll, swiping up, uh, DMing you, anything, right? So that means that with 1,000 followers, you get 100 people watching. And those are 100 people you can capture attention for free. Again, uh, mind you, for free. You're not paying a single penny for this, right? And from those five to 100 viewers, five to 10% will do a call to action. That means between five to 10 people every 24 hours that is gonna do any call to action you made. You remember those 100 leads that Alex was talking about? With a thousand followers, you can make this happen for free, okay? So, uh, again, right now, right now, no one is doing this and gyms use Instagram here and there, but no one is using stories, putting the phrase behind the brand and using hashtags and geolocations to get organic free traffic. You can rank here and out, like, just beat your competitors like crazy just doing this, right? And uh, remember, keep your Instagram stories dynamic and interesting. Nobody likes boring stuff. High energy, cool personality, talk to the camera, give value, and clear call to action, right? It's extremely important that you do this. Now, extra tip, create highlights on your page. That means that the best stories that you've made, there will be on the top there forever, right? So the highlights, for example, you remember the three simple tips that we said, you can put highlights, uh, weight loss tips and you put a highlight there okay people who come to your page the new followers that didn't watch the story like that happened last week are going to see the highlights are going to be like oh hmm the weight loss tips are there or you can have success stories the testimonials right from your clients the weight loss transformations they're going to be like hmm is this gym actually worth my time I'm actually getting results for people the success stories the community hey like just you know talking to the facility just showing your staff showing the face behind the brand nutrition tips when you're going out of groceries just like hey three simple tips on how to eat burgers every day and pizza without like gaining weight I don't know if that's possible but just, just assume it is um, <laughs> um, events if you're throwing big parties at your gym like Halloween events or, or Valentine's Day or hey July 4th whatever it is you can put in there as well and people start seeing hey this gym is not only a place that I just go to work out is a community of people that I actually want to be part of all right now the reason why Instagram users are ready to spend is because their attention is because of the attention that the device is in is on their phone everybody has their phone right now every single one of you has a phone on you right now and that's the reason why it's so extremely powerful you can reach people whatever they are whenever they are even on the toilet because we all know we all use our phones on the toilets okay even if you don't admit it I know that was weird <laughs> um, now point number two monetize your followers even with a small following example um, how you can make with only 3,000 followers All right let me break the numbers for you let's say you're getting 3,000 you have 3,000 followers again you're getting about 300 people watching your stories let's say you DM half of them right just half of them that means 150 people and you offer them I don't know a free something 15 people just 150 people just got there from those 150 people just to say 10% of them you actually just provide a, I don't know a free a, a ebook a $19 ebook right that is about 200 bucks that you just made right there from 15 people from those 15 people let's just assume you upsell two of them on 197 that means that I don't know like 200 400 bucks that means you just make like 500 bucks from 3,000 followers in about 24 hours. Let's just assume you do that for 20 days. That is about $13,000. And let's just assume you do that for a full year. That is over $160,000 from free traffic. And hopefully my math didn't break me right there. But um, that is all, almost $160,000 from 3,000 followers, okay? It's extremely powerful. Again, combine your traffic you're getting on Instagram and Facebook ads, specifically Instagram ads. Start using Instagram ads. If you're gonna use ads on Instagram, start using Instagram stories. Um, they're a lot more powerful, a lot more dynamic, and you get people's attention. Instagram stories, you have the full screen. You're not competing with somebody else that's scrolling through their phones. You have their full screen, and they're right there, right in front of you, right? So use Instagram stories if you're gonna use ads. Now, talk directly to your potential customer and exclude people who already are members of your gym. You already have their email address and your phone numbers. So you can say something, hey, uh, we noticed that you follow our page, but you haven't come in and you checked out our gym. Uh, here's a free session for you or the free challenge, right? You exclude the members in your gym in the ads and the targeting and you only put the people who follow but hasn't come in. So that's free, low hanging, easy low hanging fruit that you have right there. Cool. Now, again, upsell your current clients. 
You can reach them, hey, with Instagram story, hey, I noticed that you just went through the six week challenge. Um, I have this awesome other thing that I have for you to offer, would you like it? Simple as that, right? Again, you're already retargeting the people who already know, like, and trust you. It becomes extremely, extremely cheap to do this like this. All right, now, when you're reaching a cold audience on Instagram, again, just Instagram stories is the best way to do it because you have their attention, undivided attention in a full screen format. You're not competing through their feed that they're scrolling through really fast. You have this full screen right then and there. And especially if you have a really great Instagram ad that you put like, again, you're all jacked and freaking strong. So you can just put like yourself like with apps like, hey, would you like to get apps like this? Yeah, I know. Swipe up right now and I'm giving you a six free week challenge in our gym. I'll actually do it, all right? It becomes super, super simple like this, right? And remind them, again, to turn post notifications on for the people who follow you. This is extremely, extremely low-hanging fruit that you can capitalize on. Retargeting, it's the cheapest form of traffic because they know, like, and trust you, and you're gonna convert a lot higher, right? Again, here's a couple examples from, I think, uh, Brett Contreras, right? Some simple Instagram stories, right? Now, locally, you did your market research and you should have a list by now of influencers and all that good stuff. Now, again, extra local influencer, go to search, again, go to geolocations, and search the top nine posts of people who are there. See if they have five, 1,000 followers, 5,000 followers, 10,000 followers, whatever it is, they're in the, your local market and the local influencers. You can capitalize on them extremely easy and use this little script that I put together for you. Hey X or hey Johnny, we love your page and it seems that you go to the gym and work out. We would love to have you come into our facility for free, right? Johnny comes to the gym, he has 5,000 followers, he works out at your gym, he does some Instagram stories and Instagram picture videos and he posts it on there. You just got Johnny to promote for you for free. Local influencer marketing. Extremely low hanging fruit and they will actually, they're going to a gym anyways. They're going to a gym anyways and paying for it. So why not just, hey Johnny, come to your gym and promote our stuff, all right? And use exchange of value. Mo money is an, a tool for exchange. And you're, instead of just giving them money, you're giving them a service, an awesome service, all right? So um, get them in your, for, in your door for free and have them promote your gym to the followers by tagging you, the geolocation using hashtag all that good stuff. If you did a good job at doing that and providing things that will also become paying clients later as well. So that means that you're getting a free influencer coming to your gym, free promotion, and you probably get him as a client as well. Because if Johnny's going to the gym already and you did a better job than the other gym down the street, Johnny's gonna decide to come to your gym and pay for your stuff. All right, so again, here's an example right there. Um, I would think it was Masha or something that went to that gym right there. No, I'll like keep going. Bigger influencers. Now, this is kind of like the where you want to be headed because uh, it would bring massive brand awareness both nationally and internationally. So make sure that um, in your niche, you pull your audience, that they pull their audience and see if there's an event or meetup or workout session in your gym that they will be valuable in attending to. So that means you're gonna reach out to these bigger influencers and just tell them, hey, we're interested in working with you. Um, they're gonna say yes, obviously, uh, because you're awesome. And but before you actually pay them or whatever it is, you tell them, hey, would you like to pull your audience and see if there's actually people who want to come? That means that you are optimizing your efforts and you're just not throwing money in the air. So for example, you go to Brent Contreras right here. You say, hey Brent, um, would you like to come to Austin, to our awesome gym, we're gonna pay whatever, um, and we're gonna have an awesome meetup. But before we do, can you pull your audience and tell, hey, actually people in Austin that will actually come. So you're actually just pre-framing his audience that we're having this event here. They're actually saying, I'm interested in going and they're gonna show up, right? Same process, and it will cost you a little bit of money versus the local influencers, but it will bring massive brand awareness to your brand, both nationally and internationally, because these people are followed by everyone, right? Now, viral local giveaway strategy. Now, this, I'm gonna walk you over through a strategy that I said at the beginning uh, that we generate about 700 leads and about $80,000 in revenue in about 48 hour period with 1K ad spend. Uh, and this was for a local beauty shop in Canada. Now. Um, now, uh, look, giveaways work extremely, extremely well for any niche in any market and specifically in the fitness space. We already know how well the six week challenge works. Now, um, you need to understand the basics of what we cover first before I went into this in order for you to capitalize on this. You know content, you know market research, you know your local influencers. Now we got that, those three down, we're gonna go dive into giveaways. So the first thing is that in order to exe uh, execute a good giveaway, these things cannot just be done out of the blue for no reason at all, right? So, people see through this, believe it or not. If you just do a giveaway for the sake of doing a giveaway, you start doing it over and over again, people will see right through it. So have a reason, Valentine's Day, July 4th, back to summer, 
uh, I don't know, your birthday, uh, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's, whatever it is, just do a giveaway, but with a really good pre-frame and a reason behind it, right? It's gonna bring, if you're gonna do something super, super massive, make sure you do it just a few times a year and not just every single month, because then people, again, will get bored and say, oh, I'm not gonna participate in this one, they're gonna do one next month. So urgency and scarcity are your biggest plays right here. Now, there's something that can be done in advance that cannot be just done in 24 hours, just this needs a little bit of planning. So what I'm gonna show you right now, it takes a little bit of work up front, but it's extremely, extremely profitable. Now, um, numbers one, this was done, the campaign that we did for the uh, beauty shop in Canada. So about we had about 75% opt-in rate on the landing page. We have 10,000 profile views locally, and that means a huge retargeting opportunity for you in your local market. And everybody who participated also got 30 to 40%, even if they didn't win, we follow up with those leads and got 30 to 40%. This encourages people to come back to your place, to in that case, the beauty shop, to that place and spend money just because they get a 30 to 40% discount, right? Um, and it feels super good to them because even if they didn't win, they're like getting something for free still, just for participating. Um, and then you can upsell those clients extremely, extremely easy because they're already coming into your doors. Now, uh, we have generated about 630 leads from that in about 48 to, 70, 48 to 72 hour window window and the yearly lifetime value of the customer was about 420 bucks so about 30 percent close on the phone and that means almost eighty thousand dollars in revenue um we got over 700 followers on instagram from that campaign they were local and the total cost of the campaign was less than one thousand dollars and this was to get several local influencers and push traffic from bigger ones in the niche even though they were not necessarily in those areas so that means that we use influencer marketing local influencer marketing to just push traffic to this giveaway that we did and it was super super simple now this is how we framed it and this is why we did it now the way we did it was to celebrate um they were doing uh, opening a new studio so to celebrate the opening of a new studio location in your location we're giving away a free and in that case it was like a free eyebrow thingy um service over your product regular value 800 yours for free right concept to participant rules tag a friend and follow your account the more rules you put the bigger barrier of entry it is. But then again, if you're giving something extremely, extremely valuable, you can put more barriers to entry. I would suggest just doing these two. Tag a friend and follow our account. Super, super simple. If you can add some extra steps, uh, repost this and tag us, uh, submit your email by clicking the link in bio. We actually did that and that's how we got the about 630 leads and contest closest date and time, right? Now, this is also another giveaway that I ran um, major giveaways and you can see like the caption and the text right there. So just make, make sure that you're creating urgency, scarcity, and that what you're actually giving away is valuable. People will participate and tag a ton of people just from this, right? So, is this making sense before I, I'm, I'm going to too fast? Is it making sense? Yes, no, yes, maybe so. Yes, cool, good. So um, use, again, micro-influencers to push this giveaway as well. As many micro-influencers and local influencers as you can. You can probably get 90% of them, again, for free. Just because you have a location, you have something that is extremely valuable, they're already going to your gym. You can, hey, come to your gym for free, promote this stuff. We're doing a, a local giveaway that we want to get your friends on. If you're able to get 10, 20 local influencers with each averaging about 5,000 followers, you're able to get, you know, pretty substantial amount of people watching this stuff, right? So make sure you document the entire process as you're going through this. Videos, photo, Instagram stories, and this can be turned into a huge PR stunt, believe it or not, in your local you know, area. Cool, so now on this training, I show you the single biggest competitive advantage you can have in this starving crowd. No matter if you have a great product or great prices or great location, if they're not starving, Nothing will matter. And the reason why Instagram is starving right now is because it's extremely visual, especially in the fitness industry. And how to hone your message for your market so you can maximize on Instagram the right way while all the other gyms are slacking. You probably see a lot of gyms that are posting pictures of their cat. How many have seen that, right? Yeah, exactly. And you're like, oh man, that looks horrible, exactly. So that's like, nobody cares about your cat. People care about the transformation, the results you're able to get from them. So don't post pictures about your cat. No. Um, and Ripple Tents, the biggest opportunity right now for free traffic. Again, those 100 leads, you can actually capture them also for free through Instagram, right? Now, did I keep my promise on this training? Yes, yes, good. Have you come up with good ideas that you can experiment and implement on your current Instagram account right now? One last thing that I want to also tell you is that everything that I talked on today can also be applied on other platforms as well. So make sure you make it a priority to get people from the offline world to the online space, Instagram, Facebook groups, YouTube channel, email list, chatbot, whatever it is, because if that happens, you're also able to reach them 
for free. They're already coming into your gym. That's a little local traffic that you're getting so you can actually reach them for free. And then this, the online people that are you know gathering up around behind your brand, you can also capitalize and then bring them into the offline space and get them into your doors. Now, um, if you're omnipresent, you will be in people's heads all the time and you will become the goal place to go. If you're able to be in front of their faces every single day, consistently, they're gonna not think of any other gym to go to, right? The reason why, for example, I'm just gonna use an example, Gold's Gym Venice is so big is because everybody is posting in that little green wall and like doing pull-ups outside in Venice. The reason why Alpha Elite is huge is because everybody is posting pictures about Alpha Elite in Houston. So if you're able to encourage and just be in front of people's audience, in people's faces, in people's eyes, and be omnipresent that way, you're gonna have a huge, huge disproportionate advantage versus all your competitors, which is gonna be free traffic for you. So those are 100 leads that Alex was talking about. You're gonna get them also for free. You actually get 100 leads with Alex method, 100 leads with Josue's method, that's 200 leads, which means double the profit. <laughs> so uh, again, that's been all for you today. Hopefully that helped. And uh, so I have about five minutes remaining. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Um, 